Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to 3307. This is where I take a look at the news and happenings in and around Elite Dangerous. This week, David Brapen interviews with TechRadar discussing Starfield and Odyssey. Commander Burr releases a great video on exploration and Frontier asks for feedback on cockpit lighting. Odyssey released three months ago and it's kind of hard to believe. Since then, Frontier have made some steady progress in improving the game, and whilst it is still very much lacking in a lot of areas, many people are nonetheless enjoying it. Last week, YouTuber Burr Pitt released a video, the first in a series, dedicated to focusing on many of the aspects that Odyssey brings to the table. His first video focuses on exploration. It's a good look into what the game does and doesn't offer, and I highly recommend checking it out. You can find the link in the video description below. Tech website Tech Radar recently had the opportunity to interview David Braben. The interview was short, but covered a wide variety of different topics from Odyssey to Starfield, whilst also touching on the gaming community and the game's development. Now, I won't cover the entire interview here as you can read that for yourself, but that said, there were a few standout points that caught my attention, in particular the parts on Starfield. And these kind of caught my attention simply because I think they give some context on David Braben's thinking as regards to Elite and Odyssey. So uh, let's have a look at these sections of the interview. When asked about his thoughts on uh, Starfield, David Braben said, It's interesting. I've always been a fan of Bethesda games. Starfield looks very much like the sort of story-based adventure that we might associate with the Men in Tights games, he jokes. Before elaborating, I hope they do it right. I'm sure they will. I think in the terms of the way the story-based expedition works, it's probably a pretty good setting. The trader actually didn't tell me very much about the game, which is often the case with early traders, and it's probably true of some of ours too. It was a lovely teaser. Let's see where it goes from there. So yeah, it's definitely spot on there. Teaser trailers tend not to contain too much information, but that's just the nature of way, the way that uh, marketing actually works. It's the next part of the interview, specifically on Starfield, that kind of caught my attention though. On the challenges that Starfield might present for Bethesda, David Braben said, It is a risk, he explains. Some games can very much become all things to all people. We have this with Elite Odyssey as well, where people expect every ship interior to be different. Let's see how Bethesda does. I don't want to be criticising them, I think they're a very good company. But I do think they've gone live so early that they've got their work cut out. That's the truth of it. In terms of the scope of Elite and Starfield, he went on to say, I think there is an element of the right time, right place, but I'm pleased we stuck to our guns. People don't realise because we were so different, we held on to that difference. All I would ask is for people to be ambitious. Go a long way further, if you can. I applaud game companies that do that, and I think Starfield has a very good chance of doing that. Now, overall, I feel the interview was pretty good, though it does feel as so though some of the replies, and perhaps some of the questions too, were a little bit front-loaded or a little bit heavy-loaded, shall we say. But either way, I don't want to focus too much on the tone of the interview here, as that would go beyond the scope of this news video. Overall, there was very little new information on Elite or Odyssey, but there were some nice snippets that those of you who are especially new to some of David Braben's interviews might find very interesting. So if you want to check out the full interview between David Braben and Tech Radar, do check out the link in the video description. Now, as with many people, Lego has been a long-time favourite thing of mine. Building Lego never seems to get old, no matter how old I get. And it's clear that many people within the Elite Dangerous community also share this passion. Redditor Radio Transparent has built this amazing looking crate Phantom. The crate is among my top ships in Elite, so it's especially nice to see this build. Meanwhile, Redditor Deleted has built this gigantic 1 5th scale Lego Anaconda. This one took 4 weeks to build and uses around $500 worth of Lego. The full Reddit thread on these two builds is available in the links below. Some super impressive work here then, so well done to both of you. The current bug issues report shows the lighting problems in Odyssey as fixed as of update 6. Whilst it seems that lighting has been certainly improved in many locations, it's been obvious for a while that cockpit lighting is still broken. Frontier then are now asking for feedback on this issue as they would like to address it. Generally speaking, many people have found cockpit lighting to be either overexposed 
or in some cases underexposed. There's also other issues with lighting. Redditor APOC-V recently posted this video to highlight a bug with mining visuals in Odyssey. However, it also highlights some problems with lighting in the cockpit. Do check out the visual differences on the dashboard area around the HUD. Deleton Forum Thread from Frontier asks players three specific questions. Is this affecting all ships or just specific ships? What is the exact issue you're experiencing? Is this happening in all lighting or just certain situations, such as certain star types, extremely dark locations? If so, please provide locations and screenshots. So if you would like to offer feedback on this subject, then do head on over to the forums. You know where to find the link. On the 4th of September, a new charity livestream will be getting underway by Elite Aid. And this will be to help raise money for the many people who have been affected by the terrible floods that recently occurred in Belgium, Germany and Netherlands. This will be a 24-hour live stream taking place on the Elite Aid Twitch channel. Both the links to the Just Giving page and the Twitch channel can be found linked in the video description. Do check them out. That then brings us to the end of this video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.